You could hear the bullets hitting seats. You could hear the bullets hitting people. You could hear the bullets hitting the wall. I mean, it was just this loud, boom, 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 boom. I instantly just got down on the ground and Rebecca got down on the ground as well, but she wasn't moving. And the person to my left wasn't moving either. And so I could see the white of his gun through the crack of the seat in front of me that was this big. I just stayed low and and he would just fire round after round with like a two or three second pause. On my way out, there was things that like, I don't think no person should ever see or you know even speak about because it was pretty horrific. Once I finally made it out through the front door, I sat right in front of the theater, I'll never forget, and this little girl comes up to me and says, you know, your arm's bleeding. And I'm like, what are you talking about? So I look at my arm and sure enough, it was bleeding. It had two bullet holes in my arm that were just dripping blood. It was hard to like embrace just even normal everyday activities and things of that nature. So, you know, animals, you know, friends, you know, my faith, uh, going out and speaking into it, you know, the community work I do, kind of the whole picture is to help me get to a point where at least I can wake up every day and feel like I'm, you know, being a part of society. But for a while, it kind of was, I felt like I was on the edge and I was being marginalized a little bit. So, but uh, yeah, it's, it's been a journey for sure.